an all new season here in Raleigh as the Lock Monsters have been promoted to the A Division and will be facing the Evil Empire. Welcome to the RSHL and a whole new season upon us and some new challenges for the Lock Monsters and they have just dominated the B Division. So now they just got too good we're sending up to A Division, see how they do there. Evil Empire just coming off another try at the Carolina Cup, but again, fell short. So they're gonna look to change that. And with the Log Monsters, that's not gonna make it so easy. But at least uh, vendors have been uh, dissolved, so we're gonna remain at four teams. Let's go to the breakdown. We'll start with the Log Monsters, and for this one, we're going to be watching Kevin Ebner, the points leader of the team for quite some time last season. We're going to be to see if he can beat Mark Kamoshi at the net. Strengths of the team all around attack, but there is no weaknesses on this team. For the Evil Empire, are going to be watching on the defensive end. And uh, not just one player. We're going to see if the defense entirely can and stop anything from the Lock Monsters. They have just been too good in the past few seasons. So with that out of the way, we are just about ready for a whole new season and the ball drop is next. Off we go in the A Division and a whole new season now underway. We start with Brian Limley dropping back. Passing back and forth with Gian Greco. Pass it back again, went off the stick of DiGiacomo. DiGiacomo does tap it away and the Lock Monsters will get on the attack if they can get around the official first. And down the floor and tries to set her up, backhand and that one just a little wide. And tries to get it back to DiGiacomo but overshot the pass, they are forced back. And tries to set her up over to Meister, shot saved by Kamoshi. And Ryan Reich going around and will hold up and will lob it and does get it up to Hoffman. Takes his stick and will push it through. Now faces Peterson. Peterson will take it for the Lock Monsters and will go behind his own net, behind Harley Hankinson. Christopoulos will play it back down the floor. Vic Christopoulos, former bender, now joining the Lock Monsters that, so that can put their offense at an even more dangerous level. A good deke by Lindley now faces Kevin Ebner as they head to the corner. Shakes them off, tries to go back to Gian Greco. We'll go back over to Lindley on the left corner. Take it away and back go the Lock Monsters. What a good play by Gian Greco, but another chance save and knocked away. They head to the corner, Ebner shot, goes high, trying to rebound, knocked away by Rich. And that'll be dumped down the floor, no icing here, that allows for a change. And back behind the net they go as they will reset. Brian McLaren um, also joining from the vendors as Jan Greco tried to pass it around. Oh, he got tripped. Is there going to be a call? I'm looking around. I don't see any hands up. So the so the uh, Empire may have gone away with one great save by Hankinson off the rebound from Reich. And over to Christopoulos for 
The Lockbusters diving across with Reich. Had it temporarily. And now trying to set her up on Abel. Here comes Reich the other way. Joining him is Hoffman. Tries to go left. That's Sean Cassidy going to the corner as he gets double teamed. De Giacomo trying to backhand it up to Meister. He'll play it back around. Kevin Frost for the Lock Monsters as he'll restart the attack. Backhands it, and that's knocked back by Gian Greco. Meister resets, will play it upwards, and off they go as they'll get around. Whoa! Big check into Reich, right behind him. No call for that, but wow, that was a bit dodgy. And then the Empire trying to strike back. Well, there's something for you. That shot goes wide and back behind the net as Dian Greco will hold on to it. At least he had it, but it's gonna go back to G Di Giacomo. And just leaping as he tries to pass. Frost back to Christopoulos. Christopoulos still holding on. Back it goes. Shot goes wide of the net. That shot coming from Brian McLaren. Here's a shot and a save for the glove by Hankinson. Ebner up against Lindley and looks like Lindley wins his face off as Marino is going to dump it back around. Hoffman trying to fight off Peterson, tries to go over to Rich. Rich still has it, forced behind the net, tries to set her up, nobody there. Back to Marino, that shot goes wide. Hoffman on the left circle. Holds on, trying to find some room. Tried a pass to Marino but intercepted. And that's Patrick Barbado. Also joining in from the Benders. And intercepted by Ebner. Ebner backhands it. Bell tried to shot but whiffed it. And moving in, Marino pokes it away and finished off, but the Lock Monsters still have control. Tries to set her up, intercepted. Tries to go back out, they do clear. As Joey Murphy will chase this one down, but has to look out for Lindley, looming over. They'll play around the boards over to Ebner. Lost sight of it for a moment. Oh, and whoa, what happened there? Bad pass. Here's Rich, shot that one wide. And again, try center, intercepted by Lindley. Tries a shot, saved by Hankinson, rebound. And got some help in the slot. A few friendly faces for Hankinson as the Empire are forced to tag. Back down it goes to the right corner for the Empire. That will be a taken up by Robin Jacques. Cassidy back to Lindley, tries a shot, glove save by Hankinson. One by the Lock Monsters attempts to clear, but it went off of someone and hits the upper netting, and we will do it again. As we're about halfway through the first period, still no score, but uh, it's been looking pretty even so far. Attempting to clear, taken up by Lindley, drops it to Cassidy. Cassidy with a shot. He scores! Sean Cassidy with the first goal of the season. And the Empire strike first, one of them. And um, I'm being corrected, saying that it was actually Reich that actually got the goal as they didn't get a chance the other way. Open chance, he scores! <laughs> So now 
Nick Christopoulos, the lone, the lone person in the goal, trying to wind up holds up. And I was going to say before that, Ryan Reich was credited with the Empire goal and Cassidy with the assist. It, it may have been tipped on the way. We'll look at the replay and uh, figure that one out. But in the meantime, Rich intercepts, tries a shot wide of the net. And going down was the number 21, Mitchell Stevens, but play continues. Stevens again. Or I'm sorry, that's right, pardon me. Here's Jan Gregor, that one goes wide. And hold it up is McLaren, tries to go up to DiGiacomo, intercepted by uh, Gian Greco, and back down it goes. McLaren attempting another clear, but taken up by Hoffman. Back and forth it goes, looking at a double team, trying to look for any kind of lane, but ends up giving away to DiGiacomo. Clears it up, intended for Christopoulos, but they will instead make a change as Marino will play it upwards and tipped by Gian Greco, but it'll be back over to Frost. Some fast moving plays by both sides now. Still holding up, looking at a double team. Intended that one for Bell. It just passes by. It's held up for a moment. Gives him time. Fighting for it. Here's a shot wide of the net, and Komoshi covers up. It's going to be back over to Frost. He tries a shot that's high and wide. He'll get it again, but looking at Rich. Gets rid of it, and it'll be intercepted by Gian Greco. Intended for Hoffman, but it does get across the line. So that'll force the Lock Monsters back. Reich with a chance as he tries to get around. Ebner, no call on that play as he attempted a shot that went high. Intercepted. Nope, it's going to be back over to Rich. Hoffman can't get around. Peterson will play it right over to Bell. Bell looking at Gian Greco as he heads to the right circle. Holding up to see if Lock Monster makes the change of their own. And it is Murphy with a shot goes wide. Backhand, that is saved. And Kamoshi didn't even realize it. And this is going to go down for an icing. That face off one by Lindley. Going behind the net. Intercepted by Christopoulos. Trying to pass over to Meister, but missed the pass. Meister takes it up again. Tries to shot saved by Kamoshi. Marino's gonna take it up and will go for a long pass. Intercepted by McLaren. Tries to pass over to Christopoulos, but that missed. Centers up to McLaren. That shot was interrupted by Rich. And here comes Rich the other way, looking at Joey Murphy, but we'll give it away over to McLaren. McLaren along with Christopoulos. Tries to pass it, and it, that had to be forced away by Kamoshi with the glove. Tries to center up, but couldn't get it settled enough to get a shot. Back the other way, and it's gonna be Cassie. He's got a chance on a breakaway. Shot save by Hankinson. He's trying to get away, and another shot save. Back to Christopoulos for the Log Monsters. But Gian Greco has other plans, goes over to Lindley. Tries a shot that is knocked away by McLaren. Back over to Marino as the Empire make a change. Back over to Gian Greco. Tries to center and head it for Hoffman. But no danger there. He'll play it back to Marino. Tries to tip it and it is saved by Hankinson as we approach the one minute mark.
Back over to Dan Greco, tries a shot, and that will be swallowed up by Hankinson as they will do it again with 42 seconds remaining. Back to Gian Greco, another oh. shot, stick save, trying to get a rebound, knocked away, and Hankins, no, that's an ace. No, I see, I saw the goal sign. Did they get it? I think they did. The guy saw him make the goal sign, and it was immediately pulled back. I want to see if it is a goal, and I think it will be. So they say it is a goal. There's a bit of confusion there, but it looks like the uh, Empire will get the goal, and that will do it for the key first period, as literally will just give it back. So, after one period, a bit of a back and forth, but the Empire came out with a 2 1 lead. We get ready for the second period, and that last goal was credited to Ryan Reich. We had a bit of confusion on whether that was actually a goal, because we couldn't see it from this end. But um, Paltoka said that it was indeed a goal, so we come in with a 2-1 lead for the Empire. And off we go for the second period. Knocked back in, and Cassidy tries to play it off the board to himself, but taken away by Peterson. He'll play right over and knocked back by Jan Greco, but it will be over to Reich for the Empire. He'll just try to play it down, but gloved down. Oh. And an offside against the Lock Monsters as Bell jumped the line. Yeah, okay. I didn't. I was just love that. And that's won by Reich as Cassidy tries a shot that's blocked by Ebner. Will be backhanded down the floor by Robin Jocks. And getting his stick tangled up and that will give some room for the Lock Monsters to, ma to make a move. And it was back to Patrick Barbado. He'll dump it down the floor over to Ebner if he can get there in time. He does. Forced behind the net. Goes opposite corner, trying to look for a kind of lane. Tries center up, finds Peterson, tries a shot that is blocked. He'll try again, back to Peterson, over to Ebner. He tries a shot, same by Kamoshi. And Cassidy attempts to clear, knocked down by Peterson, and a save made by Kamoshi. They'll try one more time, and that one's blocked. And off the safety netting as the Log Monsters are now running in fifth gear now. But they're gonna have the downshift now that Lindley has possession and it will play it up to Cassidy, but here comes Peterson moving in. And getting a stick tangled up with Jacques, couldn't clear it out. And it's gonna go back to Lindley. Off the safety netting, that gets some room for Peterson. He takes the shot high. Dan Greco off the boards over to right. Got a chance on a breakaway and missed it wide. We're good. We're good. And now the other way for Joey Murphy. Murphy up close, shot, save by Kamoshi, and another save off the rebound. And now it pops out in front, and Kamoshi has to make another save, and he covers. That one knocked away by Will Lindley, and maybe a chance on a 2 on 1. Here's Mike Rich looking at McLaren's shot, saved by Hankinson, and he holds on. Nice shot, Mike. Like, right as soon as you turn the ball, like, you're not going to do that. One by the Empire, tries a quick shot wide of the net. 
Christopoulos will pick it up for the Lock Monsters. He'll backhand it up. And oh, I had a chance for a breakaway for Di Giacomo, and that just goes wide. And now here's Lindley the other way. Passes and a save made by Hankinson. That was a beautiful pass. But here comes Nick Christopoulos the other way, along with Di Giacomo. Looking at three defenders, almost lost control, but holds up. McLaren with a shot wide of the net. Tries another one, another save by Kamoshi. And it's gonna be Reich that wins the draw and up towards up to Rich. Knocked down by Christopoulos. Rich is going to try again. Now it gets over to Cassidy. Cassidy takes a shot. Blocked by Frost. Frost the other way. Looking at two defenders. As Christopoulos and Giacomo. And a 6A made by Kamoshi. We picked up by Christopoulos. Tries to center over to McLaren. Here is Frost with a shot. And that's a save made by Kamoshi. And Rich will be forced to clear it out. No icing here. And Kevin Frost will pick it up as the Empire will make nearly a full change. And knock back in as Lindley goes to Cassidy. He tries to shot save and Hankinson holds on. Face off one by Lindley. Cassidy with a shot. It has to be knocked away by Hankinson. Reich on the left corner. Passes back to Lindley. Lindley still holding. Looking for a lane. Tries to pass. Intercepted. And off the boards again. Back over to Mitch Stevens. Tries to dig around. Unable. Here is Reich. Plays it back. He'll play up to Lindley. Lindley winds up. Shot and a save made by Hankinson. As Frost and Wright go at it behind the net. And Frost does get it away. And Ebner will try to play it up over to Bell. Tried to get around Marino. Just a little road bump. And now it's getting pinned up by Jacques. Try to center up. He scores! Patrick Barbado ties the game up at two. is wide open in the slot top shelf. Not much that Kamoshi could do about that. That one won by Ebner. He'll play it off the boards. Over to Barbado who just scored the game tying goal. Double team. Still up for grabs and the Empire have it. Here's Mike Rich as we approach the halfway point of the seconds. Look at Joey Murphy. Murphy goes down. And here is Bell the other way. Took a block from Gian Greco and Jox. We'll play it upwards to Hoffman as Rich will tag up. We'll play a crossover to Jox. Cassidy rearranging, trying to get around Peterson, fighting them all, protecting the ball. Still holding on, trying to find some help, tries to pass back, and a dangerous pass. And a shot by Shocks. Oh, it went off the defender and in. Oh my goodness. Robin Jarks. That's a flight and off of Ebner and in the net. Talk about bad luck. Like that as a bouncer goes over to Kamoshi. He'll play behind the net. Still holding it is Di Giacomo. We'll go back to the point. Still holding now. Here's the call from Christopoulos. Knocked away and a potential breakaway the other way for Hoffman. Hoffman back in. Oh, he missed it. I think he lost control. Here's Reich with a backhand and a save by Hankinson.
And the Lock Monsters win the draw, and it will be back over to Mitch Stevens. And back again it goes. This time it'll be McLaren attempting a clear glove down by Marino. Back over to Reich. We're looking for a deflection, but it just went off of two Lock Monsters sticks. Back to Christopoulos for the Lock Monsters. Drops it back over to Stevens. We'll play upwards to Meister if he can settle it down, unable. Back up to Lindley for the Empire shot, and that just hit the glove of Hankinson. Rich back over to Marino shot, blocker save. Attempting another clear, and another shot, deflected score! And I think this will be credited to Lindley off the deflection. And the Lock Monsters are going to call a timeout with 4 17 remaining. Well, how do you like that? The last two goals have come off of deflections. But Lindley was just in the right position at the right time. And that will put the score 4 to 2 for the Empire. I think the uh, Lock Monsters are starting to see that this is not B Division anymore. They're really going to have to step up their game. So they're going to have to see that the uh, additions of Christopolis or McLaren is not going not, not gonna to be the only the part the equation to, to solve against the uh, A division teams. Yeah. There's still a lot of season to go as they'll head back to center and we will be ready to resume play. over to Marino, tries to get it up to Rich. Peterson in a race, can he be around the corner? Taking a bump from Rich. He'll be picked up by Frost for the Lock Monsters. He'll pass over to DiGiacomo. Play all the boards, attempting to himself, now drops it over to Christopoulos. Christopoulos trying to fight off some defense, and oh, that was not a very good shot from Peterson. As they'll head back down the floor, and Peterson will have to reset. As Frost will take a look at his options, walking up, and he'll play it off the boards over to DiGiacomo. Taking a bump from Hoffman. He goes down. I don't see any call. And now, man going down, that is Marino. Still no call. Around the boards is going to be back to Cassidy. Here's Jocks around the boards. Picked up by Hoffman, but Peterson will pick up the loose ball. Tries a shot and a save through traffic by Kamoshi. Back over to Jan Greco, attempted to clear, but it hits the upper netting. One by the Empire, Jan Greco passing to Lindley. And now he was, I think he was attempting to go to Reich, but here's a shot by McLaren that's blocked. Crossing over to Lindley, gets around Frost, now facing Ebner. Frost getting back into play, over to Hoffman, that's blocked. We'll play back over to Jan Greco, going back and forth with Lindley. 
And now going over to Cassidy. You know, that's um, Hoffman, pardon me. And down the floor, they're going to say play it. The Empire thought that was going to be icing. To the right corner they go, and it'll be back behind it. That will play off the boards. And here comes Reich the other way, one on one with McLaren. Tries to get around McLaren with a good stop. As they will dump down the floor, and this time it is an icing. Off the draw is going to go back over to Marino for the Empire. Plays it around the boards. McLaren trying to buy some time, trying to clear. And this time, is it going to reach the line? No, it's going to be knocked away by Marino. Up in front and away from danger. As Ebner will backtrack along with McLaren. Ebner takes a look and will play it off towards over to Murphy. Murphy with a shot that is blocked by Marino and now a race along with Gian Greco. Back over to Lindley. He'll play back to Gian Greco. Back out to Rich for the Empire. Looking at two defenders along with Wright. Off the foot and going down. And the Empire offside. And now a long shot and a blocker save down low by Kamoshi as the Log Monsters make one more change with 10 seconds left. And they're just going to dump it down the floor and kill the remainder of the clock. And McLaren is just going to let the clock run down and we will head to the second intermission with a 4-2 lead for the Empire. Getting ready for the third period as the Empire now holds a 4-2 lead as we are now back underway. Jan Greco taking a look and will just backtrack looking at Meister and now will play upwards over to Ridge who is triple teamed. And back over to Lindley, he'll dump it back down the floor. Hagison will come out and just tap it over to Frost. Frost will play to his left. Looking at Cassidy, he plays off the board to himself. Stevens, oh, where were they going with that one? Here is Rich. Upwards to Lindley, trying to get around Meister. Checked away by Stevens. Christopoulos will play back over to Frost. They will reset. And upwards it goes towards Meister. If he can beat Jocks. Picked up by Giacomo and a save by Kamoshi. And back over to Frost. That shot knocked around and they go behind the, the net and Frost attempting to pick it up. Now to deal with Lin Lindley. Another attempt to clear, picked up by Christopoulos. Holds up, shot save. And where is it? It is covered up. Back over to Stevens, he scores! Oh, and reflects it! Stevens for the point! And now the Nerds will lead to one. draw and back down it goes and it will be Peterson taking a look and sees Hoffman around the boards and looks like it's going to be Murphy attempted clear picked up by Jacques and back over to Bell. 
And now racing down the other way if he can beat Jax. But nope, it's gonna be swatted away by Kamoshi. Tries another shot that is saved by Kamoshi down low. And Reich trying to clear, unable. Oh. Here's a shot by Peterson, nearly deflected. Oh boy, and they say no goal. No goal as Kamoshi at the last second squeezes it. Here's another shot just wide the net, trying to get a quick win off the draw. And Lindley escapes. Can he get away from... Oh boy, Lindley did not like that. As Christopoulos goes the other way. It's another shot, bouncer wide the net. Looking for some help and Lindley will pick it up. Vicer, Christopoulos. I got a Peterson shot. Whoa, that goes wide. Hoffman what? will play it back down the floor. Peterson will chase it down with about 10 minutes remaining in the third period. Holds up and now I'll play it upward over to Meister, who will just chip it down. Kamoshi takes a look and will drop it off to Marino. John Greco over to right. Lane Lee will play left over to Hoffman, just behind the circle, and cleared out by McLaren. Off the boards again, taken up by Meister, shot saved by Kamoshi. Off the draw, it'll be back over to the Empire, and that hits someone on the way. Here's Stevens with a shot, save, and knocked away by the glove of Marino. Tries to hit her up, knocked away by Ebner, tries to shot in, score! Kevin Ebner has tied the game up at four! I thought that was going to come towards me. Cassidy is trying to escape. Stevens giving a hard time now. Lindley, can he get around? Stevens forces a corner and now will backtrack. Attempted a pass that did not go well. Here's Stevens the other way. Left. Here's Barbado with a shot and a save with a glove. The other way with Jan Greco will pass it up to Rich. Cassidy, left point, going towards the circle centers for Lindley. Backhand, he gets a shot, he scores! And the Empire, and their lead back. And we'll see if this is credit to Rich. It will be Rich with the goal, and Lindley will get the assist. 5 4 for the Empire. And tie up on the draw. Reich will win the face off. And now Hoffman trying to fight his way around Frost and a whistle. What do we got here? And they're going to send it back. I think it is actually an offside. And fighting through is a shot by DiGiacomo. That's a save, and Kamoshi makes a quick cover. Five for it. Yeah. 
Toss up, shot and a save by Kaboshi. Log Monster's trying to look for the quick on. shot. Five, yeah, four, thanks. They're looking for those quick draws, and here's Tijakamo with a chance, and that one knocked away. Frost tries to play it up, intercepted by Hoffman. Hoffman deeks around Frost, centers for Rich, he scores! Mike Rich with the two goal lead back off of a great pass. And that one Hunter puts him back up 6 4. I believe that is Rich with his second goal. Hoffman will get the assist. And here, in fact, here comes Hoffman now going on the right circle. And turns it over to Nick Christopoulos. Looking at Jan Greco. We usually see him in the forward position, but he's going to play defense this time. And back down the floor as the umpire will make a change. Murphy will chase it down in his own circle. Off of McLaren and makes it up to Ebner. Passes over to Bell, he got a chance. Charge goes high. Reich the other way, intercepted, tries a shot. Looking for it, it's Reich again. And that's gonna hit the netting and back it goes. And one by the Empire, lobbed out, and it's going to be Reich with Murphy chasing him down. Escapes, can he get around? Nope, he goes down behind the net. Ebner on the right corner, and now will try to play up, but knocked back down by Marino. And McLaren trying to find a lane. And now decide to lob it, but knocked down by Jan Greco. Here's a shot, goes high the net. Pass it across, shot, score! Ryan Lindley with the goal! And that will make it 7 4 as we approach the three minute mark. second of the game. We got a lot of Empire members with a with a name in two slots in the goal column. And now Hankinson's going to go the aggressive route. He's going to have to look out for Hoffman. And back to Christopoulos for the Lock Monsters. They really got to get going now. Does manage to stay on side. Crosses, shot, and that's blocked by Marino. And here's Hoffman the other way. And he'll just decide to pass back to Marino and he'll dump it back down the floor. No icing here. And we will just drop it off to Stevens. Christopoulos once again looking for a lane. Has to deal with Hoffman and now decides intended for DiGiacomo, but taken up by Rich. And now here's Jan Greco down the other way and once again, Hankinson coming out of his net. He lost sight of the ball. Oh boy, this is going to be trouble, but he does get it off. And now here's DiGiacomo, gave it away once again. And back it goes over to Hankinson. He'll drop it off to Stevens. Christopoulos once again. And lost control, but some help from Peterson. And the offense is just falling apart as that ball goes out of play, but the clock will stop at 2.07. Back to Cassidy. Just protected the ball and now just backhanded down. Frost will take it up in his own corner, passes up, and now will get a return. 
centers to Ebner. They can get around. And again, the four checking is just causing trouble for the Lock Monsters. Barbado tries to pass back, but intercepted by Jocks. And now Frost the other way for the Lock Monsters. And it's running into trouble in the form of Gian Greco. And now here's Mike Rich along with Grayson Bell. Rich pass back to Lindley. To an open right and a save! Still on, another shot, another save! He's been left wide open! And back over to Jux. Tries to shot blocked by Frost, attempting to clear. And now a race between Barbado and Jux. Barbado will win that race as we approach the one minute mark. Back to McLaren, shot save, and covered up with 101. No, it's gonna be one minute, exactly. Back to Frost, shot just wide of the net. And Kiboshi didn't have that pad down all the way as Jan Greco holds off behind that. Whoa, turnover, and that will stop the clock at 51 seconds. Wow, that was a bad turnover, but he escapes harm. And that will be over the head of Frost, and here is Reich the other way. Hold up. Reich will play down the floor over to Hoffman. Well, just backhand it, intercepted by Frost. Finished off by McLaren and up to Barbado. 33 seconds remaining in regulation. Takes a stick from Gian Greco, holds up, and I'll try to look for some help, but Gian Greco is just gonna give him a hard time here. And with that clock winding down, the Empire will get their first win of the season. And not the way that the uh, Lock Monsters wanted to start off their a division as we stop at 11 seconds. And toss up, it'll go back over to, whoa, someone got tied up there. And it's gonna be a penalty against the Empire and the clock will stop at 4.2. It's not really going to matter, but they got to call it there. Yeah, but nobody touched the puck. Why does it stop? Well, the shot on that doesn't count. You know it. The shot on that, you don't blow the whistle. I'm just learning. I, I'm, I'm just telling you. Shot on that, you don't blow the whistle. You're Somebody covers it. And they will just run down the clock. And that will do it. And the Empire will get win at number one for the season. Again, not the way that the Lock Monsters wanted to start their A Division run. But there's still plenty of season to go. But a 7-4 win for the Empire. And they were pretty much sharing the ball between each other. Reich, Lindley. Each of them scoring two goals. So, we got a whole season ahead of us there's still plenty of time for the lock monsters to learn from this we'll be back with a wrap up lock monsters were just outshot and outscored from pretty much all angles their offense just fell apart there is still plenty of time for them to fix all that Empire coming out with a strong win, 7-4, as they will be looking to look for an, yet another final run. And maybe this time, they'll get a cup. So that will do it for this week. I will be off next week, but we will be back right after that with another game for you guys. I'm XL Sports World, this is Danny Wilson. We'll see you next time around. The RSHL is supported by AllBlackHockeySticks.com. The stick of choice for many players of the RSHL is a very light and durable stick for only $89. AllBlackHockeySticks.com.